our homework topic that we have been working on for quite a while Mm -hmm. because we were on uh, our vacation week. But now we're going to get into some of the feedback, and we want your calls and your text messages on this. What is something embarrassing, the most embarrassing thing you did trying to impress somebody? (laughs) So we're looking for, like, you know, a lot lot of times that starts with, hey, watch this. Right. Or sometimes you have the best of intentions, thinking you're going to do something really sweet, you know, maybe really romantic, Greg. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Like, and then yeah. it just, like, it becomes it so embarrassing. Blows up in your face. Yeah, so ridiculous. Like those guys that propose on a pier and drop the ring through the wood. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Whoops. yeah. Did you see that uh, the new challenge, Greg? Because I know you like the, uh, the TikTok challenge. doesn't love a oh, challenge. Yeah. They're so hard. Yeah, guys are pranking their girlfriends by pretending to propose. Oh, great. Oh, that's that's <laughs> nice. So, that's yeah. I support they'll, this. They'll uh, <laughs> ask for someone to take their picture. Then as soon as someone's about to take it, the guy gets down on one knee and mm-hmm. fakes out the girlfriend. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I mean, that's harmless. It's kind of funny. Uh, well, the women don't see it that way. Well. Uh, and their well. friends don't see it that way. <laughs> well. That's a nice <laughs> test, though. They don't yeah. see the humor in these fairy tale I mean, freakouts. Not, like, not all says. that hilarious, yeah, but it's funny. That is a good test to right. see how much they freak out. And if they're overboard, maybe it's time to pull the ripcord. Yep. Well, see, the people who are arguing <laughs> for it say it's a good practice. You know, for the, when it actually happens. Well, that's not the reason. No. Uh, one girl said her boyfriend did it so much while they were on vacation that every time he would ask someone for a picture, she would immediately walk away. Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> that's a good counter prank. Yeah. <laughs> right. I like uh, it. I did see a prank online that I thought was <laughs> legit hilarious. Is when you just act like you see something. Like I look over around towards Ravi and I go, "Oh my god!" and like jump backwards, <laughs> right. and oh, then yeah. the other person freaks out without seeing. Just, right, they're they're just, they're just going. They're basing off of your reaction exactly. And yeah. I I went down a rabbit hole of those. Oh uh, yeah, those are funny. okay. That's that fun. is just prank. That's, that's just yeah. prank. That's just yeah. very. Cute. My favorite ones were the firework ones. Just recently. Fireworks? Yeah. Hold, hold this prank? <laughs> or like, hey, I'm going to throw this in your car while you're sitting in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see that one? There was one with this guy. Is it. that the red truck one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Look at it. Good oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, the thing explodes. And how did the guy not just jump out? Or die. So, yeah. Right. right. Or truck, die. Red but... truck, middle of the street, <laughs> yeah. and this big old, like, motor-sized firework gets tossed in. <laughs> Yeah. What does he do? Close the door. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you not see the guy toss that in? Yeah. Did you not hear it going? <laughs> and there's sparks flying everywhere. So even if yeah. you didn't, even, for whatever reason, you didn't see it, the door closed was accidental. <laughs> hey, there's a lit firework in your truck. Yeah. yeah. Get out. Jump Leave. out. And it goes off. Door. Window blows out. Oh, the guy just oh, struggling to get out of the car. Yeah. Uh, wow. that, now, that was pretty funny. Yeah, remember the old ones with like Daffy Duck's bill would get spun around backwards yeah. kind yeah. of thing? This nigga look like Daffy Duck with his beak shot off. It was like that guy stumbling out of his car. Ugh, just God. pranking. That's, hmm. Yeah, that's not pranking. Oh, um, that's we out here criming. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see there's one too I saw where it's like a, a new challenge where you jump off the back of a boat. Oh my God, yeah. But oh, like yeah. directly into yeah. where the motor the motors are slash the wake is. Yeah, what? the wig, not the motors. You're, yeah. you're going beyond yeah, not, the motors. Not onto but... the blades, but okay. right yeah. but okay. right past that. Yeah. yeah. In uh, Alabama, do you hear how many people died doing it? How many, man? That would be six so oh, far. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if yeah. you don't hit the so blades, that's that wake area. It's I like guess. hitting cement. Well, no, not that, because you're jumping that right off of it, but it's more like you're getting sucked under, right? No, you're breaking your neck on the wake. Is yeah. that's oh, that's you're like you're snapping yeah. your back. Back yeah. and neck injuries is what I was oh, reading. God. Oh, like oh, whiplash. Man. Let's say hi to Adam. Hey, good morning, Hello, Adam. Adam. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's the wrong bit. Hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, how about you just get to the story? What's the most embarrassing thing oh, besides yes, that yes, that you did to try to impress somebody? So I was about 16 and I uh, started dating this singer, and she left for a family vacation. And instead of uh, me going out and doing, you know, random stuff, I uh, decided to stay home and I put together a little stop motion video for her about 5,000 images. So um, I'm all excited. I'm expecting to, you know, get something out of it whenever she gets back. And when she gets back and I show it to her, I get up. Oh, that's cool. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Ungrateful. Yeah. 5,000 yep. stop motion images. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Cool yeah. video, dork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to bang the dude in the AV club. <laughs> 
It didn't last too long, man. I figured out she was actually banging her uh, guitar. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, the herself. guy that plays guitar In over you? Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Teenagers yeah. love that. Yep. <laughs> but but baby, I made you this stop motion video. Yeah. Way to go, loser. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't always work, man. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I could have told you ahead of time. Adam, thanks for the call, dude. Bye. Appreciate you listening to the show. Uh, let's go to Ryan. Hey, good morning, Ryan. loser. Hi, how are you? We're doing great. So what's the most embarrassing thing you did trying to impress someone? I started smoking when I was 12. Oh, Uh, cool. It does look cool. Yeah. (laughs) It is a cool habit. And how long did that uh, go on for? Up until 2012 when I was about 32. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 20 years. Now, the people that you were impressed, they're still impressed. Oh, yeah. Like, you hit 32 and you're like, so cool. I thought... yeah, you got to keep it going because otherwise mm-hmm. the people will know you were just doing it to just to look cool. Just to look cool. Well, yeah. I was I was twelve. I just moved to England and I was trying to impress the kids. And there was a boy there, and this girl said, "If you want to impress them, have a cigarette." So of course I start smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Well, hold on. If you were in England, they, if you were in England, they didn't say have a cigarette. They said have a a gay F word. Bag. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, what when I doing? summered in England and I asked the dorm HA, the housing, uh, whatever they're called, if you're allowed to smoke there, he said, are you allowed to? You're encouraged. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they promote it. All right, Ryan, and thank you for the call. I appreciate you listening Bye. to the show. Bye. Uh, 877-44-Woody. Let's say hello to Emily. Hey, good morning, Emily. Emily. Good morning. All right, so what's your story? So I... Um, was not able to stay the night at my apartment, and so um, a guy friend of mine invited me to spend the night at his. Yeah, we had had the talk that we were friends. Later on, he decided that we should be more than friends. Turns out, he has very specific likes in that department. <laughs> okay, and he wanted me to be absolutely like still. <laughs> and I have this ability to, like, be kind of rigid and breathe super, like, shallow. And that's and what slow. And that's what he thought was hot? <laughs> yeah. And so I was just like, whatever. Cause, and he, he, like, looked at me and he goes, you look like a dead fish. And then we were done, I don't know, 15 seconds later. Okay, but, like, what does he expect? He wanted, like, uh, you wanted to be you that still. Way. That is a dead fish, is yeah. it not? Yeah, freaky. Yeah, like the yeah and I'm like, what? Why a fish? Now the like, first, the first uh, red flag would be that this is what he is interested in sexually. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then yeah. maybe I shouldn't be spending the night at this creep's place. The other thing is, like, how <laughs> did you know that you had this ability to, like, lay rigid and breathe <laughs> shallow? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what, like, how did you learn? How did you learn that you had that skill? It's yeah. what I was known for. And the, I, you responded I won. like whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, won about every single game of hide and seek. Oh, okay. I was able to hide under blankets without people even noticing me. Oh, okay, because the shallow breathing. You should go to America's Got Talent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah. It would be amazing. Yeah. Emily, thank you for the call. All right. Appreciate you listening to the Woody Show. Right, she, should be on, she should be on the Moth Story Hour. Yeah, she I know. Like, and now I stand still. So wow. funny story, you guys. Yeah. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so weird. So this guy's like, you know what? I've decided that uh, we should be more than friends, and here's what I need you to do. And she's like, <laughs> okay. She, and she responds, oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I just yeah. need you to lay completely as if uh-huh. you're like a dead body. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Because this is what I'm into sexually. And yeah. I know you're really good at it. And she yeah. was Because you're the hide and seek champion. champion. God, got eggs on her face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's a text, wow. 951 says, when I was in junior high school, I tried to impress my older sister's friend by lighting a fart on fire. Sweet. So I laid on my back, I pulled down my pants, and pushed out a fart, and a little turd came out and landed on the lighter. Oh, See, there you go. That's, 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 that's what that's we're a, talking about. That's the call we need. My sister that call? never let me forget about it. That was 30 plus years ago. Oh, never will. <laughs> ladies, ladies, we're talking about. Ladies in the room, how many times has a guy gone from a maybe to a definitely? Yeah. yeah. By yeah. lighting a fart on fire? Yeah. yeah. So many times. Ray, right. check this out. Yep. So many times. Yeah. I'm doing that guy. Uh, Ravy. <laughs> Well, look, this was probably 
middle school era. And so the 30s. Okay. There was, I was having a party at my house yeah. because my parents were out of town. And when you're in middle school, you can stay home for a weekend. And so I organized like this game of spin the bottle. Scandalous. <laughs> Scandalous. Yeah. Uh-huh. But uh, the bottle that I picked for spin the bottle was a bottle of hot sauce. And so like the challenge was you have to put it on your tongue before you kiss the person for spin the bottle. That's a good twist. And mm-hmm. I did not realize that it was atomic. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. And yeah. so like the first spin, it actually <laughs> landed on me. And so I put it on my tongue and like immediately started bawling. Because <laughs> <laughs> that seriously blew up yeah. in my face. And yeah. I had a couple of crushes in the uh, circle oh, no. of spinning. <laughs> now they're no dead. Frenching. Yeah, well, you know no she stopped that pond. Oh, hey, weak. why don't you come over to my house? We're going to play spin the bottle. Yeah. She invited certain people. Why are these other dudes here? <laughs> Everything yeah. lands on me. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys are going to spin the bottle to find out who gets to kiss me. <laughs> uh, oh, Greg nice. Corey. That's so funny. Uh, I had a, a it was a, technically a scooter, but like a moped type scooter. And a friend of mine got one because he wanted to be cool like me, you know, because I was so cool. But my one rule was had to wear a helmet. So the minute I would get uh, out of my parents' view, I would pull over, helmet (laughs) off, and then reach into the jean jacket and take out the bottle of booze I stole from my parents. (laughs) And I would convince my friend, like, no, you don't have to wear helmets. And it's fine if you drink. Yeah. (laughs) Because I thought I was being so rebellious on my scooter. Yeah, you were. (laughs) And I did that every time. I would, like, stash my helmet, like, in a bush and then ride all over the neighborhood. (laughs) With alcohol. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, and then I thought I was being so cool. Uh, we have one here that says, I stole hubcaps for her car. <laughs> oh, dope. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> well, my story, this I was young. I was young. And uh, my mom had showed me. We were, She was going through some stuff. And I you know, went to go see her about something. And I go, oh, what's that? And she goes, oh, well, that's, uh, that's my wedding ring from when I was married to your dad. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, well, why do you still have it? And she goes, well, I figured, like, you know, someday you can give it to somebody special. Well, I'm little, you know, small, not like little, little, but I was like uh, 10, maybe, yeah. 10 or 11. Right. And there was this girl I really liked, so I grabbed it and I gave it to her. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah. So and, you're special here. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, you right. know, That's, she, she said you somebody too. special, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. So I gave it, her name was Christine Gibbs. <laughs> and her mom called my mom, said, hey. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Hey, where'd you get that? <laughs> so, oh, he gave it to me. I'm someone special. Mm-hmm. And so my mom was mad but understood. Yeah. She was sure. like, you don't do that. What are you doing? Yeah. And I'm like, you said. You told me. <laughs> I'm just doing what you said. But, man, I was so embarrassed. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you know, she had to give it back. Not just with my mom, but with Christine, you know. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Dumbass. <laughs> uh, Menace, what's yours? Uh, it was like a very special show and tell day for some reason where we were going to like do it in a park and the parents were going to be there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, what am I going to do for show and tell? And just a week before that, I signed up for a karate class <laughs> and they gave you a full like karate uniform. Yeah. And I go, oh, I'm going to show off karate moves yet. I didn't take any classes yet. Right, you just had the gear. I just had the gear, so <laughs> here's here's my time. So I go up there, and I just basically like try to mimic everything that I saw on the Ninja Turtle movies. Right. So I try to do just like <laughs> high flying kick, and like I fall so hard. That's his first head injury, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I fall so hard on my side oh. that I knock the wind out of myself, oh, yeah. and I can barely get up. Oh, and I'm like God. hobbling off. To the side, and everyone's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" Uh, and then my whole like outfit is like has yeah, grass, grass stains, stains and dirt <laughs> stains all over it. Oh, no. And I never took it. Not your class outfit. After yeah. that, yeah, I'd pay amazing money to watch a video of that. Me too. Oh man, a I jumping, know. flying karate kick. <laughs> yep. And Ninja this, Turtle style. I barely no can breathe when I <laughs> get up. Yeah. Just wearing the karate yep. outfit. Uh, sea bass. <laughs> I think I may have told a version of this where I was impressing, impressing very much so a girlfriend in college, but she lived way far, like the other the other college in Athens, Georgia, 70-mile drive. For, for, so for Valentine's Day, it was on a weekday. I went to Home Depot, got a uh, four-foot by eight-foot sheet of plywood, cut that very jankily into a heart. Nice. <laughs> painted it, I think, blue for some reason. <laughs> 
and then got a dozen gas station roses and taped them along the edges. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet. And then wrote like, happy Valentine's Day, you know, Amy, <laughs> and then put it up in the front of her sorority house. <laughs> oh, no. Like right where all the like, front like, floodlights oh, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that everyone could see it. Got uh-huh. a girl. Didn't tell her. Ooh, see, that's the romantic nice. part. So it'd be a surprise. Yeah. Got a call when I got home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she did not like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Threw it away. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Went straight to the dumpster. Because uh, it's no. eight feet tall. <laughs> 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 and janky. Yeah, and jagged. It hurts and it uh, splinters. No. <laughs> uh, Sammy. When I was in high school at cheer practice in the summer, uh, I had sprained or I tore the ligaments in my ankle oh, days geez. earlier. So Jeez. I'm in an ankle brace. I can't even cheer, but I have to go to practice. And the football players were also there for their practice. So we were there just a little bit early before our practices started. And one of the girls on cheer brought a skip it. Oh, yeah. Remember oh, that you yeah, put yeah, it on the yeah. ankle and you do it. So yeah. I really wanted to do the skip it. Of course, everyone's telling me not to, but the football players are there. And I'm very good at skip it. And so <laughs> I and we were doing double skip it. So I was jumping on the outside of it while my friend did it. And I landed on the ball. So with my bad ankle, collapsed to the ground, screaming. <laughs> ah. yeah. And... I opened my eyes. One of the moms went and got the football coach. So now I'm on the ground, like, crying with my eyes closed. So I open my eyes to the football coach and four football players around me, like, are you okay? And he's checking my ankle. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. (laughs) Because you were so good at skipping. So great at skipping. Right. And this one time at band camp. (laughs) (laughs) We actually do have audio of uh, Menace doing the flying karate oh, kick. Oh, let's sweet. hear it. And landing. Oh, 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 oh,